Hi, first grade. Uh, I wanted to share another read aloud with you. Um, I found this book. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you do too. Um, so again, just relax and listen to the story. This is called Small Saul by Ashley Spires. Small Saul loved the sea. He loved its vastness, its calmness, its blueness. I think we talked about the word vast, meaning big, wide, open space, very large, uh, which certainly describes the ocean. So he loved its, its vastness, its calmness, its blueness. He was meant to be on the water. Even as a child, he dreamed of a life at sea. When he was old enough, small Saul tried to become a sailor, but the Navy wouldn't have him. Fortunately, pirates aren't so picky, so he enrolled in pirate college. <clears throat> small Saul was hardly a natural pirate. Being rough and tough just wasn't in his nature. He was good at intro to swabbing the deck, but he was easily distracted during treasure map interpretation. Those sound like some interesting classes. He did well in navigation, but he lacked focused in looting the basics. He was born to sing sea shanties, not to hold a sword. And looting uh, for a pirate, that would mean taking other people's gold and treasure. So he wasn't very good at that. Despite these setbacks, he was determined to graduate. Finally, after months of hard work, Small Saul earned his pirate diploma. And it says down at the bottom, you are a pirate. There's that AR sound. Small Saul now had a chance to travel the open seas. He just needed to join a pirate crew. Even though Saul was small, it looked like no one had room for him until a voice hollered from the only remaining ship at port. Ahoy there, climb aboard. At last, Small Saul would be a real pirate. But it didn't take long for the other pirates to notice that something was different about Small Saul. Arr! Even the captain began to wonder about his new crew member. Small Saul knew that if he wanted to remain at sea, he would have to prove his worth as a pirate. Pirate College had taught him that there are only three things pirates care about. One, their ship. Two, being tough. Three, lots and lots of treasure. Small Saul needed to show that he cared about these things as well. <clears throat> he began with the ship. Small Saul decided to add some special touches to make the rusty squid a bit more homey. Sadly, his efforts failed to impress his crewmates. Sorry about that. Next, Small Saul considered how to be tough. Since fighting wasn't for him, he decided that a tattoo would be perfect. Unfortunately, the result didn't seem to intimidate anyone. And he, it looks like he took a bunny tattoo, and so the other pirates didn't think that was very, very tough of him to have a bunny tattoo. Redecorating the ship and demonstrating his fierceness hadn't worked. His only option was to get some treasure, but he wasn't sure how. Small Saul thought about, thought about how to find treasure while he swabbed the deck. He stewed about it through battles. He mauled it over during kitchen duty. And that means to think about something over and over again when you mull it over. Small Saul was so engrossed in the thought of treasure that he didn't even notice when the captain pushed him overboard. The rusty squid sailed away and left Small Saul behind. Soon, mold began to build up on the ship's deck. The crew was back to eating bland gruel and rat-nibbled bread and the cabins once again smelled of feet. It was pirate life as usual, and the crew members of the Rusty Squid should have been happy about it, but they weren't. Even the captain couldn't adjust to the old pirate ways. And that's when they realized, Small Saul may not have been your average pirate, but he had tried his best. He had made their ship a home. Just like treasure, Small Saul was rare. The crew turned the rusty squid around and rushed back towards Small Saul, 
hoping that it wasn't too late. When the pirates apologized for throwing him overboard, Small Saul forgave them. They were pirates after all. Throwing people overboard is just something they do. Small Saul was happy to be sailing again and his shipmates were happy to have him back. He was where he was meant to be, sailing the high seas and being a pirate in his own special way. And that is Small Saul. And I really like that story because I think you know, it shows that, um, you know, everyone can find a special place and everyone is, is good at different things. And that's what makes, you know, the world an interesting place. So I hope you enjoyed that story and um, hope everybody's doing good and miss you. And I'll talk with you soon. All right. Bye, guys.